Hi, welcome to CFS. I'm Paul Brattel. Today we're going to show you some resin castings using some interesting powders uh, with two types of resin. Now we start with the, um, the metallic jewel and the luminescent powder and the translucent pigment. We then go on to some metal fillers which are a bronze powder as you can see there and a copper powder. Now the two types of resin that we'll use is a general purpose polyester resin and the clear, a clear cast resin. Now what we're going to use is a silica mould uh, taken from an old seal. Hi, right, so what I've done is got a small amount of clear cast resin and a tiny little bit of translucent pigment and as you can see now it's mixed, it's, it's, it's almost like ink and um, we're going to add the catalyst which is what 50, 50 grams of resin is one mil of catalyst at two percent so and we will pour into the mould. Try and pour nice and slowly to try and make sure any air entrapment will eventually find its way out. It will bubble out anyway. Well, we left this uh, overnight to cure, so we're going to release that. We've also had a little bit of resin left over, so I've poured it into a little baby ingot mould so we can make a collection. Right, we're going to release it, so we go around the edges, pull it away, and look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Translucent pigment. We'll release this also, very simple. How's that? So we'll make it, we'll be making a little collection of these. Right, now we're going to make a bronze seal. So we're gonna use general purpose resin because we don't need to use the clear cast, we're putting a filler in the resin, so Right, 50, 50 grams of resin, we're going to add uh, one mil of catalyst. Right now, reasonable stir of that, obviously we need to get it mixed in. See it changing colour there. Right, now we're going to add the bronze powder. So we're going to it's very very fine. Right, let's give that a try, see how that goes. And it's going to thicken the resin up quite a bit, but the the powder will level into the surface of the of the steel seal so I think we may maybe need a little bit more in there so let's go for it let's try that right another stir into the corners
I think that seems about okay. Right, so let's pour that. Here we go. Nice and steady until we fill the top of the mould. That seems about right. There we go, one bronze casting. And we'll be back later on to, um, to demold that. We'll use up a bit of resin, no point in wasting it. We'll put this bit of resin into this ingot. That should be quite interesting. We'll polish that up later. A little bit more. Oop, there we go, how's that? Right, so we've left this for a couple of hours. Um, we'll now uh, demold it. Look at that, beautiful. We'll do the same with the little ingot again. Those polished up will be uh, quite spectacular. Now, so just to recap, we're using general purpose resin for the metal fillers because that's that's the best arrangement and we're using the clear cast resin clear cast resin for the uh, for the pigments and uh, we'll, at some stage we'll do a clear cast you know a completely clear one with this and we, what I'll do now is I'll continue to um, mold some different different pieces and then we'll come back and go through the whole lot with you so we've come to the end of the casting project. We've produced five attractive castings from our seal mould. Now the first three are with the clear resin. The first one being the translucent blue. Second is the metallic jewel. The third sample being the luminescent now just to show you a quick demo we'll put a little bit of uv light into there see how it's beginning to react so those three as i say are with the clear cast resin now finally with the general purpose resin we've had two with uh, metal powder fillings the first one being the bronze And the last one, my favourite, being this very attractive copper, with just a little bit of surface rubbing to bring out the metal. How good does that look? And that's it.